Alrighty guys, it is Qua Man here today bringing you another Q&A segment for this week and I'm actually changing up my routine a little bit. What I'm going to start doing from now on is I'm going to ask you guys the Q&A two weeks in advance and then for the next following week I'm going to ask you the Q&A for those questions. That way I will always be a question at least a week ahead. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into this video. So the first question comes in from Geekdom101 who wants to know what's my name and how big is my Snorlax? I've finally gotten it right, Mr. Geekdom101. It is, my name is Moniqua, and my cunt ain't very big, okay? <laughs> That's the answer. Okay, Thundershot wants to know, Kwame, are you familiar with Team Instinct, or are you just one of those people who thinks Broly's the best Dragon Ball character? Honestly, bro, <laughs> I don't think Broly's the best Dragon Ball Z character. I mean, I do think he was fun to watch when I was a kid. I remember me and a lot of my friends would come over and we'd watch like a lot of the Dragon Ball movies. And Broly was always one of the funnest ones because he was like this big hulking monster. So he was fun to watch, but as you get older, your opinion changes. Okay, let's see here. Scott Cherson wants to know, what if Goku never married Chi-Chi? Could he have been beaten by Raditz if he never stopped training and what would happen after? If Goku never married Chi-Chi, obviously he wouldn't have Gohan. I mean, he could have a kid with another woman, but assuming he would never get married, period, he wouldn't have Gohan, and I don't think he would have beaten Raditz, because if you look at the Raditz fight, Gohan had a significant impact on determining the outcome of that fight because he headbutted Raditz, giving Goku time to grab Raditz, giving Piccolo time to kill him. So I don't think they would have beaten him without him. Okay, SpongeBob comparison. <laughs> Funny name. If Toriyama had a Twitter, what do you think fans would ask him? That's a good question. Um, I think if Toriyama had a Twitter, fans would mostly ask him about GT. Fans would mostly ask him about questions in relating to Dragon Ball Super. Like they would try to ask him things that are coming up uh, for Dragon Ball Super, which he obviously wouldn't answer. And I think another thing they would ask him is, how much involvement did you actually have with GT? I think those are definitely things, because I think the controversial things are what people want to ask. Okay, Marcus Arthur wants to know, would you play Dragon Ball Z Go? Absolutely, if I had the phone to support it. No, there was, I would actually probably even stream that. Albert Correa says, what do you think of this picture here? As you can see, this is super black and fist, I'm guessing... This is an element and this is some kind of scratch. He kind of looks like Future Gohan. Cool drawing, bro. <laughs> I'm sure he's probably not going to watch it, but hey. If Black and Fist sees this, I'm pretty sure you'd think it's funny. Alright, um, Baseman wants to know, do you think Black will have some sort of ability related to power absorption? I mean... <sighs> what do you mean by power absorption? I don't think so, because I still think Black is like a mirror of Goku in many ways. So I, I just don't see that. I just don't. Um, would Piccolo be stronger than Beerus if he fused with all the Namekians? If not, which villains or hero would match his power? Absolutely not. I mean, the way Dragon Ball works, guys, is that the way power scaling is, if Piccolo fused with all the Namics, he would not even be close to Beerus because if you think about it, at this point of Dragon Ball, or even from the point of Z, like at, at the end of, you know, at, like during the Boo Saga and onwards, or even the Cell Saga, Piccolo was so much stronger than all the other Namics that if he fused with them, they wouldn't really add much to his power. You know, Nail was a pretty strong Namek at the time, which is why he gave him a good boost. And Kami is pretty much like the other half of Piccolo, which is why he gave him a boost. So I don't see any Namek even giving him a remotely big power scale in comparison to Beerus and Whis and all these other godlike beings. Okay, um, not necessarily his child, but a being in which Zamasu has passed on his power and knowledge to Black. I don't know what this guy's referring to here, sorry. I don't know if he, this is the second part of a question, but I don't know what he's referring to. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta wants to know, do you think future Trunks will learn God Key? I do think, it, I mean... I don't think any anything is impossible with Future Trunks. I mean, obviously, I think the whole point of this arc is that he's going to go back to his time eventually after everything eventually gets solved and he's going to be a lot stronger. So I could definitely see that. Roboco Id wants to know if did Frieza return for revenge against Goku in the future timeline? Don't forget the O between the K and the I on my <laughs> name. Ko-O-Id or sorry if I said it wrong. 
Um, yeah, I mean, it did return. He did return for revenge. As a matter of fact, Roboco Owid, if you remember correctly, Trunks even said that Goku was the one who was supposed to kill Frieza when Frieza came to Earth, but it's just that when he went back in time and altered the events that he did it himself. But originally, in future Trunks' timeline, Goku did kill King Cole and Frieza. Yes, he did. It's confirmed. And for the last two questions I'll take on here, do you think Dragon Ball Super is catering to a lot of fan service ideas? Evil Goku, Future Trunks Return, Multiversal Tournament. Yeah, I do, but my opinion is if it's fan service that's good, I don't mind it. That's my honest opinion. Like, if you could write good fan service, it's not a problem. It's just a problem if you don't do a good job writing. That's how I've always thought of it. And this is the last thing here. Is this your weakness in Pokemon? This guy put two chopsticks. Very, 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 very funny, Albert Correa's. Sorry about that little time out there, guys. I got a phone call really quick. Gio Huang wants to know, what is my least favorite character in Dragon Ball Super? If I had to just say characters in general, I'd probably have to go with Fapu. I've just never liked this character. I thought he was immature, and I thought he was one of the worst villains ever. Even though he's a good guy now, I just never liked Fapu. Okay, now moving on to Ask FN, let's answer some of these questions here. Take your pants out for a walk. Post a picture. No, I'm not going to do that. What's the next version of Pokemon you think should come out next? I mean, I'm guessing they're probably going to remake the Diamond and Pearl and Platinum versions. I was never a... I mean, I thought that generation was okay, so I wouldn't mind that. So yeah, I think that's probably the next version of Pokemon. But it would also be cool if they did like a Pokemon Coliseum or XD Gale of Darkness type of thing. Because I really enjoyed those two games. Like, as a matter of fact, like, I enjoyed playing those 3D Pokemon games more than anything else. Like, though, like Coliseum, XD Gale of Darkness, and Crystal Version are like the three favorite Pokemon games I've ever played. Okay, OMG, other races in Xenoverse 2 can transform. I knew this was coming, but I just wasn't 100% sure until Rhymestyle confirmed it. Why do you... Why do people make fun of me when I say Wade is my favorite player? You must get it yourself. I don't know why that's a big deal. I mean, if you're a Heat fan, you know, why is that a big deal? I mean, Wade was one of the best players in the NBA. Arguably still is one of the better players in the NBA for a long time. So, I don't know why it's a big deal why he's your favorite player. Okay. Oh my god, the English dub of Super is coming. All hail Lord Pyrrhus. Yes, I understand that um, a lot of people are excited for that. And I'm curious myself as to how it's going to turn out. Do you still answer questions here? I think that already answers your question. What if Vegeta dies by Super Perfect Cell's blast that Gohan blocks? I mean, if Gohan blocked it, how would Vegeta die? Are you saying that if he just got killed and Gohan didn't jump in the way? Well, if that was the case... Then I think, I think if that was the case, then Gohan would probably just try to fight Cell hand to hand. And based off of some evidence, Cell might have a slight advantage. But because it was implied that Gohan's true power was not completely released until the very end, I'm going to give Gohan a very, very, very slight edge. But I also give Cell a slight edge because now he has instant transmission. Okay, um... Let's see, Did he, answer, uh, he put the same question again. Why Goku never taught Gohan relevant techniques like Spirit Bomb, Kaioket, or Instant Transmission? Do you watch like Detective Conan? Was there an opportunity for you to meet other Dragon Ball Z YouTubers like Black and Fist in real life? Thanks and greetings from Austria. Okay, there's a lot of questions here. The first question I've answered several times. I think the whole reason is because Toriyama and the plot writers have to have Goku be unique. That's why he has all those unique techniques. I know it's a cheap way to answer it, but that's just the honest reason. Do I like Detective Conan? To some degree, yeah. I, I've seen a decent amount of it. Was there an opportunity for you to meet other Dragon Ball Z YouTubers like Black and Fist? I've met Geekdom before. I've seen, I've known Duct Tape my whole life, if you count him as a Dragon Ball YouTuber. And let's just say very soon I might be meeting some other Dragon Ball YouTubers. Okay, um, yo, Kwaman, I got two questions. Did the Supreme Kai knew the Kaioken, and if he did, would he be able to beat Boo, too? Who do you like better, Tupac or Biggie? I give a slight edge to Tupac. Um, I think if the Supreme Kai knew Kaioken, I mean, <sighs> considering the fact that, man, this is tough. I mean, what Boo are you talking about? Are you talking about Fat Boo? Because the thing is, you gotta remember, if this, if Super Saiyan 1 and 2 are multipliers of 50 and 100 times for your scale, 
I don't think, unless the Supreme Kai can know a really high level of Kaioken, I don't think he would have beaten Boo because he was clearly weaker than the other three Saiyans. And those, those other three Saiyans were not capable of beating Fat Boo at Super Saiyan 2 level, so no. And uh, I'm going to just scroll down here to this last question here. What if in 10, the 7 Dragon Balls, we have the 27 Dragon Cubes to make a wish, the 27 Cubes become one cube? How do you like the idea? Toriyama will not have trouble drawing cubes because it's easy to draw cubes. Heck, I could draw cubes. You can also draw cubes if you have the right tools. Peace out. Not really sure what you're talking about here, bro. I really have no clue what the heck you're talking about. So I'm just going to move on to one more question here. I'm not really going to click on these links because I have a lot of people who want to get their questions answered. And this last question is, do you ever get questions that are so random you you get a what do you WTF or what the hell moment? Yeah, actually, that was the question you had, you just asked me. Kostan Kapaparu? So I think that's uh, pretty much it here. This question is, what's your name and how much is 1 plus 1? One? 1 plus 1 is 11 if you read it 1 to 1, but it's actually 2. And my name is all over my old YouTube videos. So I think this does for a good Q&A today, guys. I hope, appreciate you guys coming out. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, as I always say, have a great day, guys.